Today I'll be showing you 19 weird and interesting bugs in the 1.19 wild update that you probably didn't know about. This update is chock full of weirdities, so let's just hop into it. If you're someone who likes to build with honey, you'll be relieved to know that a pair of swift sneak leggings will actually make you walk faster on it. So this is the normal walking speed, and this is the sneaking speed when you have swift sneak 3. This could definitely be convenient for you if you build with a lot of honey. If you have a villager breeder and a mangrove swamp biome, the baby will not actually be the regular swamp of villagers. So now we got ourselves a baby villager, we just need to wait for this guy to grow up and we'll see what variant it is. And as you can see, both of our villagers have grown up and they are just the regular plain villagers. You can also demonstrate this bug just by summoning a villager and a mangrove swamp. And as you can tell, it is a regular villager and not a swampy villager. So as of right now, if you want to get swamp villagers, you got to go to a proper swamp and not the new one. If you're in creative mode and you have an older texture pack, your hearts and your hunger bar might still be visible on your hot bar for some reason. This goes away if you take your texture packs off and these hearts and hunger actually represent your vanilla stats. So if we take some damage from the slime and go back into creative mode, as you can see, that actually represents how much damage we've taken and how much hunger we have left. So they are functional, but they're just very in the way. So make sure that you have all of your resource packs updated for 1.19. Anywhere in your world that you have lava touching water will turn into obsidian even if it's not a lava source. I haven't personally seen this bug around in a little while, but apparently it is still in the game. So keep your eyes peeled for it, and if you notice it, then you kind of get some free obsidian. Whenever you grow a mangrove tree, the mangrove roots and leaves can actually delete mud blocks and muddy mangrove roots. This supports my theory that mangrove trees are just concentrated pain in every way, shape, and form. So if we try and grow this guy right here we'll see that yeah quite a bit of this stuff got deleted by the mangrove roots that deleted a bit of this mud it deleted a bit of this stuff over here and then a bunch of these leaves deleted the muddy mangrove roots up here and a bunch of the mud blocks in this area as well so they in general just delete a whole bunch of stuff just a side note here if these trees had the ability to break a bedrock that would be yet another plant in minecraft that is just completely broken upon implementation and has the ability to break blocks. Basically, every new plant we get in this game can break something or delete something in some way that it shouldn't. It's actually really funny. If you look back through all the old updates, yeah, basically every single plant deletes something weird. You probably didn't know this, but there's a 62.3% chance that you're not subscribed to this channel, and we're less than 4,500 people away from breaking 500,000. If you subscribe, there's a 100% chance of helping us reach half a million. Come on, this pig man needs your help. <laughs> We're so close. Anyway, back to the video. Thanks for listening to my shameless plug. A mild and weird bug that I found while building the Wither Skeleton Farm is that the stone slab filling command doesn't actually work. So if we type in stone and then put underscore slab in here, as you can see, the only two autocomplete options are blackstone slab and polished blackstone slab. You can't autocomplete to just regular stone slab, but as you can see, if you type it in manually, then of course it still works and you can get all the different versions and variants and stuff like that so kind of a weird one so again stone slab just isn't recognized as a valid block by the autocomplete menu here on the left side and if you try to tab complete it it just doesn't work in general an odd bug for map makers that's going to be really annoying to work around is the fact that survival players can delete and destroy the structure void block. This is a block that was added for the structure block. It's actually really, really useful. You can walk right through it and it prevents you from placing items there. And also you can place items on top of it, which is kind of cool. So in general, it's a pretty fun little block. As you can see, we have an entire cube of these blocks right here, and if we go into survival mode and walk inside of here, nothing's gonna happen. However, I can place a torch inside of here and, like, actually delete the structure void blocks, and I can place a whole bunch of stuff in here, and in general, I can ruin this area. If we go back to creative for a second and look at the carnage, uh, you'll notice that I have officially deleted a bunch of these blocks in survival mode just by placing torches and other basic blocks. It might seem like kind of a small bug and kind of a niche situation, but these are used a lot in map making, and it would be very nice if this wasn't possible. If you wonder where, you can actually place a sugarcane on top of mycelium now. However, there is a small bug with this. So you could actually completely remove the water sources next to it, and then you have sugarcane with 
no actual water. As soon as this stuff is updated, it is going to pop off, however, as you can see there. So it's not stable, and you can't use this for farms or anything. However, you can use it for decoration. So as you can see, we're currently on random tick speed of a thousand. So if this was going to break, it definitely would have broken by now. Basically, all I did was place in the sugar cane, put a piece of string on top of it, and then remove the water. So kind of a little bit something like this. Mycelium, sugar cane, and then you put in your string, and then you remove all of the water around it. And bam, you have yourself a magic sugar cane. This is kind of a cursed item, and you can only get it in this update. So go, 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 get it in your bases, build with it now. <laughs> Maybe that was a little bit too much hype for... Something pretty basic. And there's no reason why you can't make the sugar cane go all the way up into the air. And of course, there's nothing stopping you from doing multiple at once either. You can just go ahead and have a whole bunch of these hanging out around your base. The humble mangrove plank is a slightly broken item. So typically you can combine different types of planks in a crafting recipe, such as for like a chest, for example. As you can see, I can mix and match a spruce and birch. I can put a little bit of oak in there. I can do whatever I want. However, the mangrove planks don't actually work like this. So if we try and put in one mangrove plank, the entire thing is just completely broken. You have to use like entirely mangrove planks in order to craft that chest. And if you put the other planks in there, that doesn't work either. So something about these things is just inherently incompatible. They are just a different species of blocks. And obviously mangrove planks are far superior than any other wood type. Conduits are slightly broken in 1.19 and they barely allow you to see at all when you're underwater. As you can see right now I have some conduit power from a nearby conduit and I can see into the water just fine from above. This is quite pleasant actually. However, as soon as we take a little bit of a dip into the water, you'll see that, uh, well, we can't see anything at all. It's actually quite terrible, and this is about as bad as it really gets. I moved to a more open area of the ocean, and as you can see, yeah, you can't really see that far at all. We got like maybe a 25, 30 block range that we can see. It was definitely better than this before, I feel. There's a known and intended issue with mud blocks in 1.19 Bedrock, and that is that they are a full block instead of a partial block. This is due to a pathfinding bug that could not be resolved in time for 1.19, so they just made mud a full block. But if you're looking for a little bit of trivia, yeah, mud blocks aren't the correct block. They are slightly, slightly incorrect, but it's nothing that you're really ever going to notice. The soul speed enchantment is a little bit inconsistent and a little bit broken in 1.19. So as you can see, this is the standard walking speed when you're on soul soil. And if we put on some soul speed boots, our walking speed doesn't really change at all. Now, give it a little while and the speed boost actually will kick in. Uh, there it goes. Yeah, as you can see, this is the actual improved speed. So it does kick in after a while. Wow, that took like literally 45 seconds to kick in that is extremely slow and uh kind of the opposite of the name they should call it soul slow yeah i i, I know it's a terrible joke man i don't know but what, what do you expect i'm a minecraft youtuber not a comedian jeez now it's kind of working everywhere even though i'm not on soul span this is actually really nice i could get used to this <laughs> oh now it broke oh man so, not only is it super broken on soul sand and soul soil, it's just super broken in general. So I walked on this stuff for a couple of seconds, and that gave me about 45 seconds of extra speed on the ground. As you can see, it just gives you a lot of speed. So, this is actually legitimately kind of useful. If you put a little bit of soul soil around your base and stuff, and stand on that for a couple seconds until it kicks in, then that'll give you a significant speed boost for anything that you want to get done. Honestly, really, really convenient, even though it is super duper broken. Sometimes the crafting recipe for the recovery compass is requesting a lodestone compass instead of a regular compass. It'll still work if you use a regular compass, but it's kind of weird that it shows a lodestone compass in the crafting menu. I haven't seen this bug personally, but a few people from our community have sent me screenshots and told me about it, so it is something that might happen to you. If it does happen to you, just use a regular compass. It'll still work fine. We have yet another boat bug on a bedrock edition. Something about the hit box of the boat is slightly incorrect. I feel like it's slightly larger in this update because I'm breaking a bunch of stuff when I usually wouldn't be. However, this right here is definitely a bug where you can place the lily pads inside of the hitbox of the boat and then it just instantly pops off. So I guess if you feel like doing this, 
this is technically a thing that you can do in Bedrock Edition. I don't know what the point of it is. I have nothing else to say about it besides that. It's definitely kind of weird. It just feels like the hitbox is a little bit large since you bump it forward just a little bit and we broke all three of those. I don't know, it just feels a little bit too big. There's a pretty big issue with the fill commands in this update in that they will just completely fail to work sometimes. They worked properly in the previous updates, so something has changed and broken in this update. So if we try and build ourselves a 80 by 80 platform of diamond blocks, a pretty standard thing, you'll see that it cannot place blocks outside of the world. Now, it did not do this previously. You could build very large platforms like this and not have any issues. And this is basically tied to your simulation distance but even if you've actually you know loaded all these chunks and explored this whole area and you have someone actually loading all the chunks that you're trying to fill a command in it still might fail it's a pretty inconsistent and weird little bug and there isn't a great way to work around it right now besides using smaller fill commands and working on smaller areas this is a slightly older bug but it was recently brought to my attention again there was a giant nerf to the rates of crimson neelium farms previously these were an excellent excellent a bone farm because every time you bone meal this you get just a ton of plants but as of right now as you can see you only get like a couple this used to be like literally twice as much it was a little bit insane but it made for an excellent small scale cheap and easy bone meal farm so as you can see we have the rates for 1.18 literally 101,000 items per hour from this little teeny tiny farm right here and that was 11,000 fungus per hour with the 1.18 nerf that takes it down to 54,000 items per hour to be fair this this is probably like the intended rates over here because that's more in line with the you know warped rates however this one is still worse at 33,000 items an hour and this hasn't been touched since you know 1.16 so there's clearly some disparity and if both of these were upgraded to 100,000 per hour that would just be great what do we want more neelium why do we want it more bone meal when do we want it sometime in the future probably i guess i don't know whenever it's good i guess thanks mojang a surprisingly major bug is that players that are not operator cannot use the mayfly ability in a bedrock edition if you're not aware mayfly is a ability from education edition that allows you to fly regardless of your game mode and if you take it away you can actually make it so that creative players can't use flight which is really great and silly so this is silent 2 he's currently in survival mode and if if I get him on top of this command block right here and then give him the mayfly ability you'll see that he can only fly for like a split second you can see that he'll go up into the air but uh, he's not OP, so he won't be able to actually use it permanently if I manually give him the mayfly ability as you can see it's still not going to work for him as soon as I make Silent 2 Operator, then he will actually be able to use the Mayfly ability. As you can see, there he goes. Bye-bye. So obviously, this has some wide-reaching effects for multiplayer servers, realms, and basically any form of multiplayer game mode where you have quote-unquote spectator players, such as PvP events or anything like that. So obviously, a pretty major bug, and this definitely needs to be addressed relatively quickly. If you ever find any bugs in 1.19, let me know in the comment section down below. Hello, and it might be included in a future video thank you to everyone in the community for sending me these bugs specifically all of our peeps on discord i really appreciate you guys super much if you enjoyed today's video then consider dropping a like and maybe subscribe to help us reach 500 000. otherwise i'll see you guys down in the comment section in the next one and then there was silence